your faith is also, will be also, tested, as Sister Gyanamata put, in the cold, hard, cold light of day. And that means, uh, in my experience, that you're asked to do things, or you know you should do things, that are beyond your current, uh, what you think may be your current ability. And uh, I've had lots of opportunities to do things like that in my time with Ananda. And I'm, again, not unique, because these are living teachings, teachings to be lived in life. And so I've been asked to do things that I thought, wow, really, you think I can do that? But because the people asking me were more, more advanced, I'd say, than, than myself, <laughs> usually Swami in one way or another, or Seva or others, asking me to do things. And I thought, well, they think I can do this, so maybe I ought to give it a try. And I, and I thought, you know, it's important for us to realize that when we go through, go along the spiritual path, and we come to these times when it's time to grow more in faith, more deepen our faith, more in understanding spiritually, uh, facing tests that we need to face, that uh, it's important to understand what the elements are that are necessary at that moment in time. And I'll just say, this is for myself. Others may describe it differently. But I would say that when you are faced with something that you feel slightly overwhelmed by, or maybe a lot overwhelmed by, but you know it's a good thing, you know the people asking you think you can do it, and you know that it really needs to happen. And you also, usually in my experience, I felt an inner yes, an inner vibration of, it's okay. I don't know exactly how I will do this, but it's okay. And at that moment in time, it's really important to say yes and to just dive in. You know, Swami quotes Krishna as saying, you know, it's so easy to sit by the side of the river and watch the stream go by, and isn't it beautiful, and all of that. But at a certain point, if you want to know about the water in the, in the river, you need to dive in and experience it. And that happens when we come on the path. But that's just a beginning, and that may be a big thing, to actually move from a world of duality into a spiritual life. That, that usually is. It's a big moment in life. Never forget why you did that, because that's a very defining moment in our spiritual lives. But also along the way, there will be times when you need to grow more. And if you want to grow, those, those times will continue to come. But in that time, to, when you're faced with that, dive in. Just go ahead, why not? It's all God's dream anyway, so why not just experience it? And, uh, and feel that, uh, yes, yes, let me go ahead. You know, these are great tests. They're things that come, and again, for each of us, those will look different. I don't know what it will look like for you, but really take it as a sign of Divine Mother and Master's love, that they're looking at you and saying, you know, we think you can do this. We think you're ready to do this spiritually. And always when you gather your forces, you've said, yes, I'll dive in, uh, then always take Master, Yogananda, Divine Mother, all the gurus with you on your way because they're the ones that really, again, that spiritual realization comes from making them your partners in what you're doing. Whether you're working out in the world or you know, in one of the Ananda communities or whatever it may be, take, take them with you because they will 
help you and give you the confidence